Hey, 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 and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to permanently fix the infamous Fanatec Club Sport Shifter Miss Shift. A problem that can drive you insane. It is a one-way road to a mental asylum, but I have overcome this issue after trying all the usual fixes that you find on the World Wide Web, including trying to take out the little circuit board and isolating that with some tape on the back of it. In my case, I've siliconed the back of that. Didn't, didn't, didn't fix the problem. Trying to glue the little hall sensor magnet in place. Didn't, didn't, didn't solve the problem. Trying to update drivers, trying to update firmware, trying to continually reassign your gears in game. It doesn't work, it doesn't solve the problem. What needs to happen to solve this problem, guys, is a simple grounding issue. The problem we have with this shifter is that because we're touching it all the time, handling it, uh, we build up static electricity in the shifter itself, which messes with the electronics, it messes with the hall sensor. We need to be able to find a way to ground that shifter shaft. Oh, shifter shaft. Where we're holding it, okay, to stop it from building up the static. You need to get the shaft grounded. This is a fix that I uh, came up with 12 months ago. This has been in place until the last two days when it started to misbehave again. And I thought, what's going on? I disassembled and you can see the little clamp on here. It's a little hose clamp. That had come loose. And we'll go into what this is all about now, how to ground this. That little clamp had come loose, so it wasn't grounding correctly. So this is proof of concept that this fixes the shifter. Once I retighten that little clamp again, effectively re-grounding the shifter, no more mischiefs again. So this is a permanent fix. Given sometimes you may need to check this little clamp and make sure that it is tight and that your ground is tight. Grounding, guys, is supremely important in the world of electronics. And as a builder and a teacher, of building motion simulator platforms, I know this firsthand. Okay, let me take you step by step through how to solve this issue. If you've tried everything, it hasn't worked, I promise you this will solve your problem permanently. So the first thing to do is carefully remove the top of your shifter. Remove the four little Allen key bolts that hold this on. Don't lift it up too high or you'll uh, pull on the little connection from the top circuit board down to the bottom circuit board for the sequential shift. Place it in a position like this, just inside the shifter. Grab yourself a nice clean cloth and get yourself either some methylated spirits or some rubbing alcohol, something like that, that won't leave residual on the shaft, but will get it clean. Okay, I'm using methylated spirits. We wanna get this shaft that protrudes through the bottom section of the shifter mechanism here. We wanna get that nice and clean so there's no grease or dust or anything like that on here so we can get a nice ground. When we put our clamp and our ground cable, when we attach that to the bottom half of the shaft. Now, the very bottom part of this shaft is nylon. We're not putting the clamp on that. We're putting it on the metal surface. This is a little clamp which clamps between seven and nine millimeters. Okay, it's an EFI clamp actually for EFI hoses. So it's a good strong clamp that fits on the shaft, all right? And you'll need to take a piece of decent, say six mil cable. I'm doing it in black, black for ground in my country. It's about 200 millimeters in length and you need to basically solder the end. I highly recommend solder, soldering the end of this for strength. I guess it's not 100% necessary, but it's gonna add more strength to this fix, okay? Because this does move around a lot, okay? This is going to be moving back and forth every time you're doing a shift. So, um, you know, if you solder it, it's just gonna give you less chance of that wire inside there fatiguing. Then you're gonna place this on the metal section above the nylon part here. You're gonna thread that cable inside the clamp and then you're gonna clamp it really tight to the shaft. I should have mentioned before doing this, guys, you need to crimp on a ring terminal on the other end of the wire, okay? Because what we're going to be doing now is that ring terminal, now this is a little bit fiddly, you just need to take your time with this. That ring terminal needs to basically go over one of the bolts that hold the top of the shifter onto the shifter body. So it's a bit tricky because you don't want it coming off, you want it staying in place, because this is how you're gonna get your ground from the shifter shaft to the body of the shifter. So you just take your time, you'll get it. 
Just be patient. Put your bolt through first. Slide the ring terminal over the bolt. Move the wire out of the way. Place the top back on. And then go around and sequence tightening your Allen key bolts back down. I just basically put them back on uh, finger tight pretty much. Then I'll just do a cross sequence for torquing them into position. And it is as simple as that. As simple as that, guys. Yes, okay, if you don't have soldering skills, you might need to get someone to help you with that. Like I said, it would be a big advantage to be able to solder this, not just put the wires basically in without soldering. They will fatigue earlier and you'll have shifting problems again and you'll have to go through this whole process again. Um, crimping ring terminals is not that hard. I've got videos on my channel as it is for doing that if you need to find that in my motion simulator build tutorials. So a bit of a shameless plug at the end of the video here guys regarding my motion simulator. Yes, I have full tutorials, step-by-step -step tutorials on how to build this four degree of freedom motion simulator platform. If you're really interested in next level sim racing, then join my channel. Check out my tutorials for building this four degree of freedom motion sim and get building. I hope this video has helped you guys. Until I see you in the next video, stay safe, stay healthy, and take it easy out there.